Hi, I'm Dan and I'm here to teach you about tessellations of regular polygons. Tessellations are created when congruent shapes are repeated, covering a plane without gaps or overlaps, as represented here in these warning lights on my car. It can also be represented here by lining up identical magazines in a pattern. The idea of the tessellation depends on the idea of infinity, that these shapes could go on and on forever in every direction on a plane without ever overlapping or leaving gaps. Tessellations range from simplistic and based on shapes that you're familiar with, to complex, to almost unimaginably complex. Some people are really into tessellations actually. There are entire websites devoted to them. Regular polygons are two-dimensional plane figures with at least three straight sides and angles in which all side lengths are equal and all angle measures are equal. The tiles on my kitchen floor are great representations of regular polygons. Each tile is a square with four congruent angles and four congruent sides. This makes them appear to form a tessellation. Of course, technically speaking, as there is just a little bit of space between each tile, they do not form a tessellation. Tessellations involve only congruent shapes and do not allow for spaces between each, as seen here on my kitchen floor. There are plenty of things that are technically not tessellations of regular polygons, even though they appear to be because of spacing between each polygon. For example, one thing that would be a tessellation, if not for the gap between squares, is the layout of the letter keys on my laptop's keyboard. Approaching my car, I knew that this engineered piece of metal must have some kind of tessellation to it. I looked at the side and didn't see anything. I, I looked at the wheels. I didn't see a tessellation. But then I decided to get inside my car, and I was lucky enough to find a tessellation. Um, as soon as I got in, I noticed that the plastic over the speakers in the front doors had a pattern of hexagons to it. However, upon further examination, I noticed that there was enough space between the hexagons that it wasn't an actual tessellation, unfortunately. Intent on finding tessellations of regular polygons in my day-to-day -day life, I went out onto my deck where I found what was once closer to a true tessellation of regular polygons than anything else I had yet found. Unfortunately, Years of neglect have ripped up the tiling, and although the gap between each tile is minuscule to non-existent, the tiles are in too rough of shape to form a tessellation. It's worth noting that not all tessellations of regular polygons are man-made. Honeybees are genetically programmed to form tessellations of regular hexagons as the structure of the inside of their nests. The structure is very rigid and is seen as a wonder of nature. There are only three types of tessellations of regular polygons. These are tessellations of triangles, quadrilaterals, and hexagons. Why is this? Why can't one tessellate a regular pentagon or a septagon? Well, it works out like this. The interior angle measures of the three regular polygons that do tessellate are 60, 90, and 120 degrees for the regular triangle, quadrilateral, and hexagon respectively. At each vertex on tessellation, the angles making up that vertex must total 360 degrees. If they totaled more or less than 360 degrees, there would be overlap or gaps between polygons. So, since every interior angle is equal because we're dealing with regular polygons, each interior angle must be a divisor of 360 degrees. The reason that regular pentagons don't tessellate is that each of their interior angles is 108 degrees, which is not a divisor of 360 degrees. 360 degrees divided by the 60 degrees that makes up each interior angle of a regular triangle gives us 6, showing us that 60 is a divisor of 360 and proving that triangles can tessellate. 360 degrees divided by the 90 degrees that makes up each interior angle of a regular quadrilateral or square gives us 4, showing us that 90 is a divisor of 360 and proving that squares can tessellate. 360 degrees divided by the 120 degrees that makes up each interior angle of a regular hexagon gives us 3, showing us that 120 is a divisor of 360 and proving that squares can tessellate. In conclusion, Tessellations are patterns of congruent shapes that can go on infinitely within a plane without gaps or overlap between shapes. Regular polygons are closed figures with three or more sides in which all sides are congruent and all sides are equal. Tessellations of regular polygons are seen in everyday life frequently. 